working with graphics in your office environment many times give you a lot of battles. Let's say you work on this. Uh, this is one of the beautiful trend books. You have chosen a story. You've picked some ideas for prints and you've taken them. You want to look at them, see what they look like. You print them up maybe. And you are in an office environment like myself here. And even if we're at Colorado, we thought we made the best investment for lamps. It's not a perfect place to take a decision. This is the Pantone D50 lighting indicator. If you work with prints, this is the standard for prints, the viewing light. And when the light is correct, it should be like this. But you can obviously see that it looks more like this. The colors differ here, which means in this environment I'm standing here, it's not a good idea to take a decision whether a print has the right proofed colors I want to achieve. So um, and D50 for prints, print industry and D65 for those of you working in, in fashion and design in general. So somebody decided they needed to invent 5,000, 6,500. Uh, that's the standard for the industry. That is the cheapest way to really make sure you take a decision in the right light. Now I want to show you next step how to work in an office environment, which you all know about, but maybe not think about why it's so important. So let's take a walk over there. Now the colors in these uh, stickers might not have shown as perfectly as they did here in the showroom, which showed that that light was terrible. Not a perfect place to actually code your colors in or check your uh, standard on your prints or um, proofs, as you say in the graphic industry. What, what, what we have here is a light booth. I know many of you boot or light box, however you want to say it, but um, I'm not sure everybody knows why and which button to, to push. Uh, so I'm just going to do uh, one in here. This is the Pantone 5 light booth, uh, which shows daylight. Daylight in the graphic industry is D50, just like the stickers, but a consequent same light all year round, especially when you are in a dark environment. So it should be like a dark room. Exactly. You're not sitting next to a window with your beautiful uh, light booth. Now, I want to check a color in daylight. Uh, and make sure it, it looks good. I might want to see if the same color looks good in home light. Why do I want to do that? The thing is that what you do, you sell to consumers, you want to be sure that the product looks the same in all kinds, and um, or else you might get a return. Um, we also have two extra buttons here for store light. Uh, the, uh, there are two standards, so this is store light one, and then we have store light two. And as you all know, stores have their own light. Uh, not that we live in them, but uh, that is supposed to be something between daylight and home light. So it's a little bit like tea, coffee and espresso. It's like three different kinds of drinks. So we, we keep them apart and you make sure you follow your standard. Now, going back to daylight, I, um, I wanted to check if my print um, I just worked on, my beautiful packaging, favorite chocolate packaging here if that one really follows the colors I pretended them to be and yeah I want 53U to be the color and I can see here it matches in the right light and then I can tell the printer if this was a raw print yeah go ahead and then you check easily so that's a very good thing to do another thing good to do uh, is to work in the control light so you don't have a surprise when things arrive and you printed them and it's all too late. You also want to make sure, because many of you don't want optical brighteners, not to bleach paper, not to bleach product, and then you could put on the UV light. UV light, yes, you will know, go into the disco, who has bleached teeth? You will see that immediately. I put the light on, nothing happens, and I'm gonna show you what they look like when they are reflectant. And can you see how they reflect? It's like three other whites. The other whites have non-reflectance, but these three have more reflectance than 100%. They are self-reflective, just like a neon vest when you're out running. In this, you want to be sure that you can control. Whether you like it or not, you might have a standard where you want it, but you need to know that it's there. And the only way you can see it is by putting on the UV light. When I put on daylight 
I see absolutely nothing. It's beautiful whites, like nothing else. So to be able to see color in a controlled light is super important to make a consistent way of handling packaging, products, whatever you need to produce so that you give an okay to something that actually you want to say okay to and not getting something back, which is a big back, not the uh, result you wanted. So to understand that color and light is a combo. They are like so tight without light, basically no color. So by ending there, use a light booth, make sure your, your standards, the way you handle things are controlled and you will have a happier working space, I can tell you, uh, because that will mean that mistakes are fewer, you feel more relaxed uh, and the people who are going to produce for you, they will be very happy because you, you, you know it's proofed in the right light condition. Some people even put that as a standard requirement. This, you need to prove this in the best, in this type of exact light condition. So make sure you use CAN. The lamps, you swap after a while, uh, you get a warning, uh, please change your, shift your lights and you buy new light bulbs. Very easy to shift in here. So, so easy uh, and so to uh, make sure life is easier and more perfect, so. It is truly amazing how light actually interferes with color or as